All right, guys, we're back. Welcome back to more Undertale. This is probably the last episode. If it's not, then I'm, I'm, I'd be lying. Anyways, um, welcome back to more Undertale. Let's get going back to, you know, saying goodbye to everybody, seeing as we've already defeated Flowey, Asriel, sent him free. And yeah, let's go talk to everybody and say goodbye before we leave. So, on the last episode, we actually did talk to a couple of people, but then I got lazy, and then I decided, no, let's not be lazy. Let's talk to everybody. And now we're going to talk to everyone. And when I say everyone, I mean every single person. L like, not including the monsters, because they don't attack you anymore, which is kind of sad. But, uh, yeah! Let's go. We will talk to everyone. So I'll just, like make this shorter and cut to when we reach people. I think that'd be easier, right? Yeah, let's do that. The core is made up of interchangeable rooms. Before you came here, the layout was altered so you would lo get lost and perish. Yes, just for you. Do you feel special? Yes, I do. I do, really. Knowing that people are working hard to kill me, that really gets my... that really gets me so happy. Makes me the happiest person on Earth to know that people are struggling to kill me. taking a nap. We were hired by Metaton to destroy you, but since he never paid us, we all decided to quit. No hard feelings. No, uh, no hard feelings at all. As a youth, I would sneak out and play by this creepy flaming spit. Since the core is always rearranging, it was like a game trying to find out. Now it is my special place. It's nice for cooking s'mores and things like that. What else would you cook? So if we're leaving, will my job? Ugh, and I just got a raise. Well, guess every apple has its core. Heh heh heh. The surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to get go two feet without running into a puzzle. You change some kind of TV show. Oh, we're all free. Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up. I'll keep going. I feel like I played a hand in everything getting free somehow. Unival is just working my this awful job. I, I think I did something. I don't know if it's true. No, you, actually he did. He gave me food. Future little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my um, qualifications, it won't be long before I move, before I am a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's just, but it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally in this case. Anytime, little buddy. Room service never came. Cool. Room service never came. No response. Trying to finish up work.
What? Do you want a rematch? I wish there was a run button in this game. I did not mean to write sincerely, I meant sincerely. It is difficult to use this with my hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to just transcribe for me. I forgot that she actually sends messages every room. Sans will be typing from now on. Oh god. On the surface, I won't buy any donuts from spiders. That's my resolution. Frisk, it's Toriel. I just baked ten a billion pies. Do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. <laughs> Toriel sent you a message. I did not say any of that. <laughs> of course you didn't. Greetings, this is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, help him, help him. Help, I'm being slandered. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness. Sent you a message. This is Sans Frisk. Did you know that I love to get owned? What? I also think Toilet is very good. And <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. No response there. My phones might be out of batteries. Huh. Oh! You! Ha 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 ha. Wonder if any humans would be my friends. Psych! That never happened. I'm too spicy to have any friends. Yeah, you kinda are. You nearly killed me. You killed me a bunch of times here when I was when I was coming through here the second time. Okay. Sent you a message titled Catch Video. Inside, she meticulously describes a video she saw of an animal, small, of a small white animal. There's no link or attachment to watch it. Well done. Actually, seems like the mouse hacked the cheese, hacked the safe, and took the cheese out. Knowing the mouse might one day, and he just did. Bad opinion zone. That's funny, I should stay still there. Forward, send this to someone you care about, or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. Oh god, she's not doing chainmail now, is she? Dear Frisk, thought you might enjoy this, smiley face. It's an ASCII -A -A art of a snail. <laughs> That's the wrong one. Yeah, what's up with her and snails, actually? Is there any story about that? Dear Frisk, Gundyne and Papyrus want to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. I'm excited. Maybe if you're lucky, you can have some. Oh god, no. Uh, uh, hu human, you leave. I have something to say to you. Admittedly, I may have had limerent feelings for you before. However, upon examining my own actions, I now realize I did not love you. I was merely infatuated with the concept of love. The idea of romance, the concept of sharing affection with another. For these desires, I've built a false concept of you in my head. Such a relationship would not have ended well. In closing, I believe it is better that I choose to say nothing. You, you idiot. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, what's in this way?
There we go. Toasty bun! I wanted another hot dog, but the hot dog guy never came. Besides that, today was fine. Count your blessings, even if you don't get a second hot dog. Actually, wait. What was on the other side? The, the other thing, then? If Sans and I started a band, do you know what we could call it? Dreamer and Femur. LOL, PS, that is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. Okay, Miss Dreamer. <laughs> I love how she's... You know, when she actually came by the first time, I swear... Oh. <gasps> yes! Oh. It's just an Abram. Um, I totally forgot he actually sends you a friend request. If you get past there. Um, but no, yeah, I was gonna say, when she first came by, she was acting so cold towards the king, and I was like, why are you being so cold towards him? And I actually thought for a second that she wasn't the real Toriel. That, like, this was all Flowey's doing or something? But apparently, yeah, she actually really dislikes her ex. And that's kind of funny. Dear Frisk, Gundyne is very strong. The fire has made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone up here. She could. The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. Uh-oh. Filled with determination. Core view. Yeah, where is Meditum? Oh. I gotta take the elevator. Oh well, it's... Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? Horn happy face. I heard that using the computer for, you, for, t for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. Let's go to the left one. Uh, I think I may have to turn the phone off now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I'll spend the time to get this time to get them to know better. Good, be good, all right. Sincerely, Toriel. So she's turning off her phone. Cool. Alrighty then. Okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to drink a nice drink on the surface. Let's go this way. I'm pretty sure the other way is just an elevator. Hmm. 